<laughs> and that concludes the events of this case. No. Kayede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, what Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us, and I firmly believe that to be the truth. I do too. She just wanted to end the game. But circumstances change that. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No! That's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of- Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. You know, that pose is actually very fitting. Because that was a shot through the heart. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! Alright, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination! At last! The heart-racing excitement as the blackened and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! You know, I honestly forgot you guys were here. Oh, oh man. It's nothing personal, Kaede. I know what you were trying to do, and it was noble. I'm gonna miss you, damn it. Then, let's see the result! Who'll be chosen as the Blackened? Will you make the right choice, or the dreadfully wrong one? I don't think I deserve that at all. So it goes point by point just to see how many, uh, how good you did in every single part. And it also lets you know, wow, I didn't know that. It lets you know that you got the back route. So that's kind of neat. And uh, this is a result of me having to redo the entire class trial because of that fatal glitch. And uh, I would just like to note, speaking of that, I actually reloaded a save that wasn't at the halfway point. It was just moments before I had to cut off for something else, and it worked. 
So, it's not that it happens every single time, but just know that if it happens, it sucks. Oh, wow, it actually has specific stats on everything. I didn't think I did it on mean difficulty, but apparently I did. Absolutely right! Of course. The blackened who killed Rantaro Amami is the ultimate pianist, Kaede Yakamatsu. Why? I'm glad. I mean, I know why. What? Don't screw around! Yeah, this is gonna be a quick game. That's not true. Kaede is very accepting of one life instead of 15. I don't get it! Or 14, technically. <laughs> Please! I think we already pointed that out, Kibo. She wanted the game to end. <laughs> she got desperate. Real... But I would like to hear it from her own mouth. Hey! <sighs> you have the floor. But... Um... Yeah... It was the time limit that forced her to murder. Therefore... Oh, that sucks! That's right. This truly really means that the Mastermind and Monokuma thought of everything. What plan do we use to get rid of the possibility that somebody captures the Mastermind? Make it so that death has a time limit. Oh, and we have the most selfless person commit murder because of it. That's almost, like, poetic. Monokuma was able to convince somebody who did not like death, who wanted to save every single person, to commit the most heinous crime. Yeah. That's... That's a whole new level of torture. I... And you were so close. But... Exactly! I knew somebody was going to bring it up. Monokuma won again! You really don't get it. Do you think Monokuma might be part master tactician? Wait! Yeah, that's also a bit of irony. The one who didn't want the killing game to began... to begin... made it began. I just can't talk today. Uh, no. Right! Yeah. If she hadn't intervened, we all would have died. But... she got the that. thing she didn't want... and the killing game started anyway. This was a lose-lose situation from the very beginning, and I hate it. Um... Yeah, Kokichi, I've just started ignoring you now, because I know everything you say is a lie. Man... It's sad that we've known you long enough to know when you're lying. That's right.
Aww. If it's worth anything, you did it for a, a good cause, kinda. Wait! You tried! I mean, of course, murder is the worst possible thing you can do to another human being. But you were doing it for something you believed in. That's where it gets complicated. Oh, yeah, just imagine what was going through her head when she saw Rantaro dead. Oh. Right. You would have been outed. Your... Which would have gone against your entire play- Oh, God! Oh! That's why nobody spoke up! Oh! Oh, that's even worse! Oh, add a third lose to that situation! Yeah. The only person who would not have taken advantage of the first blood perk, even if given to her, would have been the one that wanted to save everyone! I see. Oh! Oh, that's disgusting! Uh. Monokuma, that is... that's terrible! Then... I mean, that was a different plan. It could have worked. Because... See if there was anybody else who could take the blame for this? The mastermind? Well then... Unfortunately, we only found the culprit. Oh yeah! That was the only thing on her mind. Find the mastermind and the culprit. But that didn't happen. She so desperately wanted it. I... It makes me so sad. Like, if we had found out who the mastermind was during the class trial, we probably could have escaped this worst scenario. But we didn't. Oh, that's harsh to hear. Uh. A life for a life. Sorry. Oh, and this is gonna just you take a hammer to my heart that's already been torn out. What? Oh, we're playing the blame game. It was a thought. Uh, okay. Yeah, we have nothing. I, I mean, it made sense in the beginning. Somebody's controlling the robot bear, why not? Let's see. Nope. They kept quiet. If there even is one. Maybe. Ay ay ay! We just gotta think. Oh. But calling out Shuichi is the reason the Mastermind is still alive, if they exist. That's because Shuichi was able to find the truth. Kaede is gonna die. Sorry. Yeah, just imagine if... That's a big if. If there's a mastermind in the group of all of us, and they wanted to die, what? we'd all lose. Again. I see. Uh, okay. Shuichi, please do not blame yourself. You had a reason to think this. As a matter of fact, most of the people in the comments who have never seen this game probably thought that too. Especially if they played the first three games. Damn it! Well, 
Ooh, he is taking this hard. That's wrong! Huh? Because... Right? Oh my god, smiling and tearing up. I'm not talking about Kaede either. But... That's the important part. She didn't want Shuichi to know that she was a murderer. Huh? Yeah. We became best friends in, like, record time! Also, she didn't want to seem like a hypocrite. Because... An emotionally driven lunatic. Yeah. However. At least there's that. Right! Oh, Gonta, stop. <laughs> All these sad faces. I don't think I can stand it. Damn! Oh my god, that's so sad! Hi! Hello! No. No, please. Wh what? No, come on, just a bit more time. Ah! That's right! Please, just a little bit longer. <laughs> now then. Oh god, here it comes. Huh? Oh no. Thrills, chills, kills! Come on. Ah! No, no! Don't screw around! Time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, we'll just crush you with these here exosols. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I! Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down, and neither will Gonta. This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines. Yeah, I'll help. I can... Everyone stop! Stop it. Kaede. I think this is the first time that the rest of the cast has rallied together to save a Blackened. I... Why? I 
believe in you! You have to live! Anybody else smell those chopped onions, or is it just me? It's a promise. Yeah. I shall take that request. <laughs> Bye. Well now. Do your worst. Now then, I prepared a very special punishment. Bye, Kaede. Damn it! Hey! You can't lose! It's punishment time! I believe in you! It's a promise. Oh. My. Fucking God! Oh, that was brutal! Oh, that's probably the worst one yet! Oh, no! And it had to have been done on such a nice person! Oh, yeah, she's real dead! God, playing a giant piano with your strangled body and then being smashed with an Iron Maiden. Yeah. God damn! Yeah. Well, at least there was a second casualty, one that I can laugh at. <laughs> oh well. He is all that remains of a once powerful note. <laughs> Beware of Monodom, the silent killer. Ah. Thinking on the bright side, Monokuma. <laughs> oh god, they were a package deal.
Yikes, ouch. <laughs> but how? Jesus Christ, that was horrific. Gonna have nightmares about that one. Really? Yeah, overkill, uh, kind of an understatement. Amen. Fuck. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Yahoo! I, I guess if you're gonna up the ante like this, I mean, one had a single brutal death. The very first one. They kind of upped the ante in two. Oh man, if this is what you're starting out with, please don't puss out by the end. How dare you? God damn! Hey, um. <laughs> oh, go fuck yourself. Extreme! That is such a Monokuma line, and I both hate him and love him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. What now? Y you? Oh! Huh? Excuse me. What are you trying to pull? I wonder if his M.O. has changed between games. Well... Oh. Huh? Fuck! What is it? <laughs> he's not gonna tell us. The only person who would have told us is Rantaro, and he's... gone. That is. He obviously knew something, but then he died before he could do anything about it. Why you? Then. <laughs> Poo hoo hoo. <laughs> well. Okay, ow. Interesting. That's a big what if for this game. What? What if there isn't a mastermind? Here. Oh, and that's got to be extra hard on Shuichi, hearing it from Monokuma himself. That's right, he's gonna stop you, Monokuma! Oh wait, he's talking to Kokichi. <laughs> Is that so? Oh, no, he was talking to the bear. Uh, Kaito, don't punch the bear. Too bad! <laughs> oh, got him depressed. Damn.
Like, I'm looking for something. Something to make me happier. Because, uh, Danganronpa just killed a main character. A protagonist. It's getting interesting! So now what? Oh, I feel that. I feel that in my soul. No. Like, I know this happens in every main Danganronpa game, where you see your friend get killed right in front of you. Some of them more brutal than others. But then you gotta think, the one that was trying to save everyone... ...just got hung... ...and squished. Um... Oh, that's brutal. I think some of us had to wipe her gore off our face. Hey. There, there's gonna be need of some processing time. Prayer time. And prayers, apparently. W what? I don't know. Like, that was probably brutal enough for Kaede to feel that in the afterlife. That's enough! Damn. Shut up! Damn it. Dumbass! Huh? Clench your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him! Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you! That she passed her wish on to you! But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma! You call yourself a man?! Damn it. Dumbass! <sighs> Kaito? Listen up. Need I remind you... Shuichi just lost the closest friend he's had in these past few days. <laughs> Give him something. Are you okay? Okay. For now. Mm. Then... I agree. <laughs> Sorry. Um... Uh, um... But... No. Listen.
Hey! You know what? In your own fucked up ways, you guys are actually helping. Thanks, everybody. I mean... You know what? Huh? It's not a bad idea. That's right. Uh, okay. Listen up. I mean... so many things. I really wish she could have played for us. Uh, see? Shuichi agrees. Oh yeah, that, that one song. Check the CDs, I'm sure it's here. Also, check any modern anime, it probably plays in that too. Lair de Lune? Oh. Got it. a piano here, I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. I only just realized that's the name of one of the songs in the OST. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the Mastermind. So please, be more confident. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Goodbye.
the musical note hairpin. That's... that's nice. So, I actually have a couple stories. This was such a well-kept secret that even on the back of the box for the PS4 version and Vita version, I think, they show Kaede in the main character role. This is a huge twist. And in fact, if you got the special collector's edition or whatever of the game, Kaede's backpack is actually one of the main things you can get. But I think you can also get Shuichi's hat. And a small personal story. I actually went to a convention shortly after the cast of V3 was announced, and I got to meet Erica Harlicker, the voice of Kaede. And I said, congrats on getting the main character role. She smiled, kinda, and said, oh, thanks. Little did I know, and a lot of other people didn't know. Holy shit, that's one hell of a secret to keep. I'll see you guys next time.